This is carbide. <laughs> this is aluminum oxide. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darren Jones with Iconix Imaging. Today I'd like to discuss with you many ins and outs of abrasive. So what types of abrasive does Iconix Imaging offer? Iconix Imaging offers two types of grits. We have aluminum oxide grit, 150, 180, and 220. We have silicon carbide grit, which is 150, 180, and 220 as well. The way you can tell the difference between the two abrasives, silicon carbide is called black when you order, and so it's kind of a dark gray black color. Aluminum oxide is called brown oxide, so it's got that light brown look. So, why would someone choose silicon carbide over aluminum oxide? The reason why you do silicon carbide grit versus aluminum oxide is the carbide abrasive is going to resharpen over the lifetime, so it never dulls. So, there's a big perk. Uh, they also when you work with a lot of parts, you get a lot of that clean factor with aluminum oxide abrasive. Uh, carbide does fall off your parts to get a cleaner process. Uh, the carbide abrasive also is harder uh, on the mold scale, and it's also sharper. So it's gonna cut your product, carve quicker, get better results faster. Are there any differences between the two when you're actually blasting your glass? Okay, as far as blasting differences, when you're blasting with the grit, uh, aluminum oxide, when you're shooting it with air, it's gonna hit your part and you're not gonna really notice the carving or the etching very much until you start seeing depth. Uh, with the carbide, on the other hand, when the carbide hits the glass or metal or marble, whatever substrate it is, it creates a spark. And it's, it's not a harmful spark. The, heart, the spark is there to give you a light. So you see a nice round light right on your object. So it's like a flashlight effect. So that way you know where you're carving at all times. So that saves my operators a lot of time in the machine and artists like it because they can do their shape carving, they can do a lot of detail work, a lot quicker, more efficient. So yeah, the carbide is the way to go because of the flashlight effect alone. Uh, we do get a lot of jokes that our nozzles don't come with lights, the abrasive does. <laughs> so how do you tell when the abrasive is bad? Okay, good, a good little technical tip, because um, we're not the only supplier, there's other suppliers for abrasive. So the way to tell if the grit's really good is you wanna pour some in your hand, okay? This is not harmful abrasive. There's no chemicals. It's just sand refined from this ground. And basically what you can do is just put it in your hand and clench it, okay? No shapes, no little sugar cubes in there. So that's a sign that it's not damp, all right? The other thing you can do too is take a cup, poke a hole in the bottom, and then let it fall freely. If the grit doesn't fall freely, then the grit's not version grade. So basically, that's not good abrasive to use in your machine because it's going to clog. So make sure your grit's always falling freely and make sure it's not damp. Can all of our crystal blast sand carvers handle both grits? Our crystal blast machines can handle either abrasive. If you prefer the aluminum oxide, that's fine in our machines. It will recycle many, many times like the carbide would. Uh, so yeah, either abrasive will work fine in our machines. I do recommend the silicon carbide uh, just because it's gonna last longer in the machine over the lifetime, so you get your money's worth. As far as the lifespan between carbide and aluminum, I, I usually say about two to three times longer with the carbide versus aluminum oxide, just because it self-sharpens, it stays harder for a longer period, and it stays sharp at all times. When would you choose 150 versus 180 versus 220 grit? Uh, I take it back to you, you know, if you go to the hardware store and purchase sandpaper, you know, why are you purchasing 150 grit? Because you're removing the surface faster. And why are you using 220? Because you got to get a really good fine surface. It's kind of related to this process. So the 180 is going to carve quicker. You get more of a coarser surface when you sand carve with 150. Whereas the 220, you get a finer, smoother surface. Um, the 150 also will Again, carve quicker than a 220 because the 150 is heavier. So it's like an eight pound bowling ball versus a four pound bowling ball with the 220. So you get faster removing power with the 150. Uh, the other reason you use 150 is again, the textured surface. So if you're doing a lot of color filling projects like wine bottles, you definitely want to use the 150 grit. If you're doing a lot of half tone images, you get in the detail world now, uh, then you want to use a 220 because those little pebbles or sand particles are going to work its way into the fine detail faster. So 220 is faster for detail, 150 is faster for carving. Most people do go with the general 180 grit. Uh, it's kind of right in the middle between a 
buying grit and a coarse grit so you can do a multiple of items. So I do recommend the 180. So I'm gonna sound carve this glass piece with a silicon carbide 180 grit at 35 pounds of pressure. And you can see up to my left side, the abrasive goes in the abrasive reclaimer. All the rem uh, remains or remnants you're pulling out from the glass are going into your dust collector filter. All the abrasive, which is sharp and uh, you know, good abrasive, is gonna go back into your abrasive hopper below. So you're recycling 100% of your 180 mesh abrasive with our Cyclone 240 reclaimer. If you have any other questions on any of the grit, any of the machines, anything in general, don't hesitate to call Iconics Imaging. Uh, you can also watch our videos on YouTube. Again, I'm Darren Jones at Iconics Imaging. Look forward to working with you in the future. And have a blast.